state. Now is the time to pass comprehensive immigration reform because many of the immigrants are already fulfilling uh, the jobs that US citizens, US citizens already fulfill. They are already paying tax, they are already working hard, they are already uh, sending their kids to school, and uh, their kids aspire to be doctors, lawyers, teachers, firemen, uh, drivers, and business owners. It is a proven fact that uh, immigration has yes, brought sir. genius to the United States of America. It is a proven fact that immigration is America's strong tradition. It is a proven fact that companies like Google and Yahoo have been uh, established with the help of immigrants. Now is the time to pass comprehensive immigration reform uh, so that uh, the millions who are in the shadows can, can come out and become all again residents and citizens. Now is the time for the House of Representatives uh, to do its job. Uh, the U.S. Senate already did its job. Now is the time for the House of Representatives to pass comprehensive immigration reform reform bill with a pass with a path to see the end. Thank you. Thank you, Humphrey, for sharing with us. Up next will be Ivan Gomez. Thank you, Victor. It's a nice day to be out here today. And firstly, I would say thank you for everyone coming out here today. And also, thank you to uh, State Representative Sean McCain and City Commissioner John Cooney, who is out here with our fight today. My name is Ivan Gomez, and yes, I'm an immigrant. And I'm also a local sm small business owner. And I have a different story to share today. Um, I'm not even Hispanic. I came a long way from home, and uh, I came from the island of Borneo, in the uh, under the country of Malaysia. And I was born a third-class citizen in my own country because of my race and my religion. And um, when I say being third-class citizen, you're wondering what am I talking about? Let me tell you a little bit more what I'm talking about. Being a third-class citizen, meaning to say that although I'm in my home country. I'm not able to go to college because of my race and my religion. No matter how good I do in school, I cannot get any scholarship to study. And after working so hard for education, getting all through the hurdles, I found out that, hey, since I couldn't work for the government, I had to start my own business. And later, painfully, knowing that I cannot even do business because I cannot get the business licenses to actually do business with the government where I came from. So, I decided I should forget about it and come to the United States because I have a dream to pursue. And I know everybody has a dream. We have dreams too. And that is why I came to the United States believing that in this country, you work hard, very hard, you will achieve all that you want in life. And that's why I'm here today. That's why I'm here um, to share my journey, my story, and um, all the hurdles that I've uh, taken um, to be here. And um, I paid my taxes. I have never committed a crime. I'm a local small business owner. And um, we're all fighting for immigration reform. And we want a comprehensive immigration reform with have citizenship. And so far, what we've got is empty promises. Promises after promises, and what have we seen right now? We still get more promises, and now excuses. What are the excuses? They say, hey, it's an amnesty, it's a border security. What amnesty? What border security? I came here legally, and I still have no pathway to citizenship. And now they came up with new excuses. Oh, they gotta be educated, they gotta learn how to speak English. Yeah, I got two major, I speak five languages other than English. And yes, we can! 
Everybody has an American dream. I too had a dream. I work hard for my dream. And I believe that everyone out here has a dream too. And this is why we are out here today fighting. And while all the members of the House and the Congress are trying to juggle with people's lives, kids got to go to school, um, families got to make sure that they are not torn apart by the broken system. And this is why we want comprehensive immigration a reform with pathways to citizenship right now. And yes, we can! Thank you. Thank you, Ivan. Si se puede! Si se puede! Si se puede! Si se puede! Now, we are pleased to introduce Michigan State Representative Sean McCann from the 60th District. Thank you and good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, my name is Sean McCann. I'm the state representative here representing the city of Kalamazoo and Kalamazoo Township in Lansing. I'm in my second term in the state legislature and prior to that I was 10 years on the Kalamazoo City Commission. And we work proactively on immigration issues at the city level. I'm working on them proactively at the state level and now we need to keep working on them proactively at the federal level. So thank you all for being here. It is time in our nation to do what makes sense, comprehensive immigration reform now. Yeah, yes, yes. Reform now equals a good economy and a strong budget. Immigrants are good for our economy, the state of Michigan, the local, state, and national economy. But don't ask me. Just look at a column from Jennifer Rubin, a conservative columnist in the Washington Post who talked about two reports, one by the Congressional Budget Office, a nonpartisan group, and the other, the Joint Committee on Taxation, another nonpartisan group. They talked about the Senate bill that we all are talking about today, Senate Bill 744. It would generate changes in direct spending and revenues that would decrease federal budget deficits by $197 billion over the 2014 to 2023 period. There's a second report. It says Senate Bill 744 would boost economic input in the United States. Rubin says the Congressional Budget Office score of the Senate immigration bill reiterates what economic conservatives have been saying all along, that reform is an economic policy opportunity, that immigration reform would be an unambiguous policy trifecta, higher growth, significantly reduced deficits, and a rational labor policy. This should put to rest any legitimate debate about the economic and fiscal implications of responsible immigration reform. That's one side of it. Another piece of this is that reform equals recovery of Michigan's economy. Our state needs talent. We need good jobs. Thus, immigration immigrants are essential to Michigan's economic recovery. In a state that's been one of the hardest hit economically and that has been losing population. We need energy and entrepreneurial spirit that our immigrant community members bring more than ever to add population to our state as entrepreneurs, as consumers, and as investors in our American dream. <laughs> Immigration reform now equals fairness and humanity. There must be a fair path to citizenship. History shows that separate but equal does not work, and we do not want to repeat that mistake. Our country's founding principles, equality, opportunity, freedom, hard work, are what immigrants have come seeking for generations. Immigrant families are living by these values, seeking a better life. It is long past time for immigration reform. It's time for Congress to get past partisan politics and do what makes sense. Yes. Yes. The members of the United States Senate did this in a bipartisan fashion. 68 to 32 is more than 50-50 by a long shot. We need the House to follow suit. 
in closing, our nation and state are built on the contributions, the hard work, and the ingenuity of many generations of immigrants. It is our history. And our diversity and ability to attract those who are willing to work hard and contribute is part of what makes this nation great. I think it's important to remember that there are many voices in our community speaking one message. Reform is needed, and the time is now. Yeah. 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 Nothing will bring great harm to people, families, neighborhoods in our state and nation. Instead, let's do what makes sense. Bring families, community members who are contributing to our state, our county, and our city out of the shadows. Help them become fully able to contribute. Get them on a pathway to citizenship behind those who are already in line and move forward together to create the best Kalamazoo, the best state of Michigan, and the best United States that we can. Thank you very much. in the Oath of Allegiance and the Pledge of Allegiance, Kalamazoo City Commissioner Don Cooney. Woo! Okay, my brothers and sisters, so good to see all of you out there today. Woo! be out here. We know power concedes nothing without a struggle. And we are here in the struggle, and we're going to win this struggle. Yes. And that's right. We're yes, we are. You people who are fighting for it, yes. all of us who are fighting for yes. it, you have been here for years, yes. worked hard, you've done great service to this country, yes. and it's time for all people to move out of the shadows to become all citizens in this country that they've already committed so much to. Whoa! 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 So, as Yvonne said, they keep telling us stories. Well, we have to straighten this out. We have to straighten this out. We have to straighten this out. Forget it. The time is now! Right. And that's why we're here. So, my job is to give us some practice because we know we're going to win this struggle. Woo! Woo! And when the day comes yeah. that you are sworn in as full citizens in this country, we're going to practice that today. So we're going to do, I want you to repeat after me, this is the oath of allegiance to the United States that you will take when you become a full citizen of this country. So please repeat after me. I hereby declare on earth I hereby declare on earth that I absolutely and entirely, that I absolutely and entirely renounce and abjure all aliens' fidelity to any foreign prince, potentate, state of sovereignty, state of sovereignty of whom or which I have been of who or which I have been a subject, a subject or a citizen. Or a citizen. Now, this comes to the important part. That I will support and defend. I will support and defend the Constitution and laws of the United States of America. The Constitution and laws of the United States of America. And I will defend I will bear true allegiance to this country. I will defend and I will bear, bear true allegiance to this country. That I will bear arms. That I will bear arms on behalf of the United States. On behalf of the United States. When required by the law. When required by the law. Or. Or. I will perform work of national importance or, under civilian law. Or will perform work of national importance under civilian law. And that I take this obligation. And I, and I take this obligation freely, freely, without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or 
evasion. Or evasion. So help me God. So help me God. Okay, you're well practiced now. So when that day comes, you'll be all set. Woo! So what we do now is we should say together the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. So let's say that together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, with liberty and with liberty and justice for all, for all. Bienvenidos, willkommen, bienvenue, and welcome. <laughs> Gentlemen, please remove your hats. Caballeros, quiten los sombreros, por favor. Representatives and Representative Fred Upton to step up and pass comprehensive immigration reform. It is time to move past this issue and move forward. Last week, we reached out to Representative Fred Upton's office to join us here today to receive the 592 signatures in support of reform that we selected over the last couple of months. Since they weren't able to join us, we're going to take a few minutes and go visit Representative Fred Upton's office and deliver these signatures personally. All right. Ethan, Ms. Shanita Rush, Wendy, and I will lead the way to the office, which luckily for us is just two blocks away. The same group, Ethan, Shanita, Wendy, and I will go inside along with anyone who has a copy of the most recent reply letter from Representative Upton on this issue. The rest will remain outside. Albina the Jesus and Dude will lead, it, will lead it in a short program while you wait. After the signatures have been delivered, we will return here to hear from those who went inside and to close. Please make sure you listen to the directions from the marshals in the orange vest. They're here to keep order.